All right, guys, I've got my order from Cube Depot. This is the very first time I've ever ordered from them. It was suggested to me, and I am quite happy with the time frame that it got here. I think it was about two weeks since the day I ordered it, and uh, it's coming from the States, and I'm in Canada, so that's not too bad. And the shipping was very cheap. I think it was only like 3 or $4. Anyways, let's get into this and see what we got. Inside we have 20 cc of Lubix. Um, oh, this is an 8 cc. I'm not sure what it is. I think there's 8, 4, and 2. Yeah, not 20. But uh, this is 8. This is the largest one you can get. It's around $20. And um, I use it so much that I had my 4 cc got. It, there's not a lot in there. So I did get some Lubix stickers with it. Um, I did buy this because I am going to be buying, I think, another 8 uh, Zanchis, all the different colors from witteden.com. Um, I'll probably be ordering those next week, so probably in a couple weeks you'll see the unboxing for that. So there's this one, and this is what I've been really excited about. I've wanted this cube for quite a while. It is the Curvy Copter. Now, if you've all seen Red KB's um, video on it, um, that's the one I saw, and I really wanted one ever since I saw that. It's a very cool puzzle, I think. Oh, wow, it turns very, very well. Um, I don't even think I need to lubricate this thing. But if any of you haven't seen this, the, the reason I like it is because... How does this work? It does this thing called jumbling, where you can turn a piece and then turn those pieces. So as you can see, it's a shape-shifting cube. Um, but the thing, the difference between shape-shifting and jumbling is that um, shape-shifting doesn't bandage the cube, whereas jumbling does bandage the cube. So from here, you know, I can't... Let's see. From here, yeah, like, maybe? Nope, not there. Anyways, I, don't, I haven't messed around with it enough yet, but uh, I'm going to be messing around with it now, and I will get back to you when I have figured it out. Okay, I've been playing around with it for about half an hour and I've scrambled it really good and now I've intuitively, without being able to look at any um, tutorials online, I've been able to get it to this point where these four corners are there. However, I did remember the method of solving it from watching Red KB's video um, about a month ago or so. So um, I tend to be able to watch things once and then just remember how to do it later. However, I do remember at some point there was an algorithm, I think it was like R-L-B-L-B-R-B-L or something. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I tried to figure it out, but I cannot get past this point. So I am going to look up his tutorial and I will get back to you when I'm done. Okay, as you can see, I finally got it back together. It took about 20 minutes watching Red KB's uh, instruction video. Not that he didn't do it correctly, I guess I just wasn't performing the algorithms correctly. This cube is a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. It's exactly the same size as a Rubik's Brand 3x3. Okay, as you can see, I have got it back together now. I'm going to practice this puzzle more. It's actually quite a difficult puzzle to wrap your head around at first, just the way the pieces move. And also, the, the, the cube moves so smoothly that a lot of the time you go to turn a piece and it'll start turning another piece when you finish it, just like that. Um, see, I tried to turn this piece, and now that piece is turning. It's just so smooth, you gotta be really, really precise on how you're turning it. Um, you, can't, you can't really turn it by the inside middle part, because as soon as you start, it's gonna do that. What you gotta do is grip on both sides on the outside edge and, and really turn it from there. Um, otherwise it's going to start turning other sides like this and I do find sometimes too that while I'm turning it like this it, all of a sudden it'll it'll jumble itself I don't mean to jumble it but it just happens and uh, I'm not going to jumble it quite yet I'm going to learn how to solve it uh, without looking at any cheat sheets before I start the jumbling process but I can't wait to start jumbling it because that is why I bought this puzzle it's just a very interesting puzzle to me where you can put a piece where it's not supposed to go just because the pieces are the same size and then having to figure that out again afterwards and not only that I like to put a shapeshift puzzle back into its cube form that's always fun but I probably will have a more in-depth review on this and uh, maybe a solve uh, at a later time thanks for watching I'll see you on my next video